So now we've got a problem. Oh, that's a lot of drone cells. Yes, drone cells. So these bees were on their own for making a new queen and it didn't work. So already I can tell, I can tell that we're in trouble with this one. Now, if we got to it soon enough, there won't be a whole bunch of laying workers in there that uh, are laying multiple eggs in the cells. Um, and we could still have a chance that they'll accept a new queen bee. Uh, if they've developed lane workers because there's not a queen in there for so long, it's going to be tough to get this colony queen right. What's a lane worker? Okay, so let me explain lane workers. So uh, the, uh, the workers are all females. Everybody knew that, right? Uh, right. Okay, so we have drones. We're talking about drone bees. They're the males. They, they uh, develop from an unfertilized egg, right? So the, the females, workers or queen bees, they develop from a fertilized egg. So if, uh, if there's no queen bee in a hive, all the worker bees have the potential to lay eggs. The lack of queen pheromones, uh, they can start laying eggs. And so if there's not a queen in there for probably uh, two weeks or more, then they'll, sell, they'll make a, an effort uh, to uh, perpetuate their colony. They can still contribute to, to uh, the gene pool, right, by laying uh, unfertilized eggs, which will develop into drones. Those drones are viable. They can go out, they can fly to the congregation area and mate with another queen, so they can still make a contribution. Uh, their hive can still, uh, still perpetuate itself in a way, uh, even without a queen bee for a short period of time. Problem is they don't have any worker bees to replace the ones that are dying off, so eventually your colony dwindles down in size until they die, right? So what's happening here is there's no queen bee. Either, either they weren't unsuccessful at raising a new queen or they started a new queen and she didn't uh, develop right and didn't emerge from her cell. If she emerged from her cell, she wasn't successful on her mating flight. If she was successful on her mating flight uh, and came back, who knows what else might have gone wrong, but in any case, there's no queen in here. So what the bees are doing is raising drones, right? So you can see the difference in these cells. See how these cells pop out uh, way above the surface of the rest of the comb? Right. So there's a lot of drone, uh, uh, a lot of drone cells in here. Now we can see a record right here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but we see a record of where there was a queen cell. They made an attempt to make a queen. Look at this. And it even looks like the end of that's chewed out in a nice round hole. Mm -hmm. So it looks like there was a queen that emerged. So what went wrong after that? We could we could speculate. We could guess. In any case, we know by uh, by looking at that that there's uh, not a it, this colony is not queen right. All right. So there's another possibility here. We could have a queen bee that wasn't mated properly, and so she's laying drones. Right. If she's if she didn't get mated, then she's laying eggs, but they're unfertilized eggs, so she can only produce drones. So it might. Uh, it might uh, pay, uh, pay to look around in this colony and see if we can find a queen bee. Okay, so if that's the case, it'll be easier to fix because they have a queen. We could take her out and replace her uh, with another queen that has been mated properly. How I could identify the difference between a, a queen bee that's laying drones or laying workers, let's look in the cells. So if it's laying workers, you're going to find multiple eggs in one cell, right? If it's a queen bee that's uh, behaving like queen bees do, you'll most likely see just one egg in a cell. So uh, let's 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 look at that, see so we can find it. When you're looking down in the cells, when you're looking for something as small as eggs, it's helpful to have the sun shining right down in the bottom of the cell where you can see what's going on. I do see an egg there. There's one egg in that cell, and it's right in the bottom of the cell. Uh, where it should be, and it's standing on its end. Uh, I don't see any multiple eggs in cells now. So it's possible we had a queen emerged, right? We can tell by that uh, queen cell, and we've got a lane, uh, a drone lane queen rather than lane workers. Let's keep looking. All right, I'm gonna set this one aside here. Okay, well, there's the queen. Ooh, yeah, she's easy to see. She's easy oh, to see, wow. she's yeah. lighter colored. She's right there. Everyone's moving out of her way, right? Yep, they, oh, you can you. tell by the the uh, bees' movement around her where she's. they make what room for the queen. 
You know, I heard a queen bee has a stinger. Uh, yeah, so the queen bee has a stinger. It doesn't have barbs, though, right? So if she were to sting another queen bee, she wouldn't die, right? Okay, so, all right, so we got to make this, we got to fix this problem. So, all right, let me make sure that we just didn't have one frame there that had a bunch of drones, but this frame she's on doesn't have any, uh, any worker larva on it either, really, to speak of. So we've got a queen. So you have a laying... A drone laying queen, what are your options? Really only one option here, so if I were uh, if I were a queen breeder, maybe I'd use her to produce a whole bunch of drones, right? To flood my mating uh, locations, uh, mating yards, with the drone bees that I choose from this queen if I wanted her. So that's, most people aren't going to be using them for that. And you just have so. to get more workers. Yeah, well, so we could, uh, we could support this by taking a frame with worker bees. Uh, worker bee brood out of another colony and put it in here and keep them going longer but that won't solve the problem ultimately. Will if, she ever mate? Uh, she's got a window of opportunity and if she misses that window she probably won't. Okay. So there's some uh, some debate out there uh, even today still that a queen can go on more than one mating flight. I mean she could slim down, she could stop laying eggs for a while and go on a mating flight if she wanted but she's probably already tried. I, uh, most likely, something else has gone wrong. Well, I had one queen bee, I remember. Um, a customer of ours asked me to come out and look at his colony. Um, and sure enough, there was a queen. She was, she was a little bit misshapen. Her abdomen was really uh, bigger. And uh, so I thought, well, the, maybe the problem is she can't fit inside the cell to lay egg properly. But I looked at the frames. And there's full of, full of eggs. She looked everything looked fine. So and I but I looked at another frame, clear full of eggs. Another frame, clear full of eggs. So she's only lay, able to lay so many eggs at one time, and then they're going to uh, uh, hatch. And so we should have been seeing larvae in all the different stages. You know, day old larvae, little tiny ones, yeah. and they should have been feeding them the royal jelly. But she had three or four frames of eggs in there. The so she was laying eggs, but they just they weren't hatching. So there was some, some sort of reproductive, some sort of fertility trouble with that queen. So that could be the case here. She could have made it, and there's something wrong. We don't know for sure. So can you put her in a queen cage for 10 days and slim her down? Or? Could, oh, yeah, and it wouldn't take that long, just a day or two. She'd slim down, and then who knows, maybe she would go on. But I, I doubt it. She, she, it's age-specific. You know, If they don't go on their mating flight within two, three weeks after they emerge, then likely they don't. Okay. The bees... Uh, um, will kick the queen out of the hive. They'll encourage her to go out on a mating flight. So they're going to mate with, uh, with the drones in the air, right? Not inside the hive, but she's going to do that in flight. So there's, there's going to be other hives within a couple of miles of here, and those drones will be in the congregation areas. So drones from this hive or, or any one, other ones in this apiary, area, they'll come out and they'll go in all directions. And there'll be drone congregation areas uh, in different places around within you know within a couple miles and so she'll go out and she'll go to one of those drone congregation areas and mate with the drones there and then fly back to the hive right. she'll mate with more than one drone right so it could be 10 12 uh, more or less oh i have a question yeah um why are your hives facing a different direction i mean that one facing that way and this one facing that way yeah. Yeah. Uh, so some of these are in a different direction because when we installed the packages we didn't want them to drift which we, we actually didn't do uh, that great of a job. So drift means one of the colonies, the uh, bees that belong in one colony have flown over to the neighbors, right? And they've got in the wrong hive. So when we orient them in different directions, that'll minimize drift, right? So for one, that might help the queen bee. If she goes on her mating flight and comes back, she knows that the colony she came out of, it was facing east, and was this color, and it was by this rock, she'll get a fix on some landscape, uh, some um, landmarks, right? So she has a better chance of getting back in the, in the correct hive. And that same will apply to foragers. It'll give them some landmarks and some directions to get back into the right hive, right? So that's one reason why I stagger them different, different directions. Back to the options, what do we do with this queen? So the best thing, no nonsense uh, thing, would be to just replace her. So as we go through these other colonies, I'm likely to find in any one of my apiaries at any time some queen cells. So we can let them start over. So the problem here is they don't have much of a workforce. They don't have nurse bees. They don't have 
uh, younger bees in there right now that are really feeding brood uh, in any uh, large way. So I might want to take a frame of brood out of one of these other colonies with a queen cell if I can find one and start over. So just like I made this nuke up here a few weeks ago, I'll, uh, I'll do it again. Will or, you squish her or what do you do? I could take this queen bee out and uh, um, yeah. So uh, yeah, I would uh, pinch her, just squish her, take the hive tool to her and kill her. But now uh, if you don't have queen cells in your apiary, right, you're going to have to buy a queen somewhere. You got you to gotta have a replacement queen going. Yeah, well, so um, if you're going to order one, yeah. Um, I remember hearing there's another smaller option, which is you could just take take a bunch of with some brood from one hive just put in the other one yep. one and, and you know have the bees use the eggs from that brood to right. make a you know queen out of that yes you know give them all the materials to make a you know another queen cell and a you know another queen right exactly and that what, was what you had done with this one that's exactly right? what we did with you so you just described exactly what we did there we left the bees on their own to start a new colony we just gave them brood with eggs right and enough work bees to carry on and uh Usually it works. In this case, it, it, it kind of worked. We got a queen, but not a good one. So we're going to start over. We could do the same thing over again. So we, we if we killed the queen, and we gave her a, uh, gave this colony a frame from one of these other colonies that has a good queen with fertilized eggs in that frame, we take that uh, frame of eggs, we put it in here, and they'll start again. And that's good for the other bees in as well, right? Because then they don't have two queens fighting against each other is that a good thing or yes yeah, so if we had a queen cell in one of the other colonies uh, right those queens would emerge and they'd have to fight it out okay right so they wouldn't have to do that if we split it up right so that's we do that all the time we find a colony that's in the process of requeening or swarming and they have a lot of cells so instead of just getting one queen after they're all done fighting to carry on with there I can split it up and make four five six seven eight nucleus is out of there and salvage all those queens that would have got killed let's do this we're gonna it's this queen's not gonna be hard to find she's a lighter color they're usually the easiest to spot i believe she's still on that frame she's still on this frame but i'm, I'm gonna put this frame back in here uh, for now and we're gonna go through these other colonies and if i find a queen cell then we come back and we kill her now if you were if you only had one colony and you've got a problem like this you've got to you've got to order a new queen bee well, depending on where you order her from, you know, it might take uh, it might take a couple weeks before she gets here in the mail. Right? And so we'd leave this queen like it is, right? We don't squish her yet, don't kill her yet. Let's just put it back together. And when you've got your new queen, then the day before, uh, then, you know, so they have one day to, to realize they're queenless at least, then you could take this queen out before you put the new one in. We'll put this back together for now. So now, here's an important thing though too, to do the bee math. Uh, you want to make sure that she's had enough time to, to lay eggs before we decide that she's not a good queen, right? So we made these, made this new cup, and it was three weeks ago. So if a new queen be, uh... okay. Yeah, All right, hang, hang on here before we get to, too hasty with smashing the queen bee. Let's, let's what? do it. Let's back up and do our bee math, okay? All right, so I think it was about three weeks ago. I didn't write the date on here, but it was about three weeks ago we, we did this. From egg to egg. So from the old queen was laying eggs until the new queen, the replacement queen, is starting to lay eggs um, is about a month, right? So it's gonna take three days for the eggs, egg to hatch. It's gonna be uh, four and a half more days after that before they seal it over. Then it's gonna be another eight days or so before the, uh, before the new queen emerges. So let's figure we've got two weeks before the, uh, from egg to emergence. And then it's another week almost after the queen emerges before she goes on her mating flight, right? And then it's, uh, it's five days average, maybe uh, sometimes less before she starts laying eggs. So from the egg the old queen laid to the egg the new queen laid is going to be one month. I made this up three weeks ago. So if they were on their own, right, this is why I put an important note on here. It wasn't a queen, seed, queen cell like these other ones we'll look at that was already ready to emerge. So three weeks ago, that would put her at just barely mated. So, okay, so, all right, we know that about the queen. 
Now we've got to come back and look at the drones, the, uh, all the drone cells in there. We've got drone, drone cells with uh, drone pupa. They're capped over, capped over drone brood. And the drone we know takes several days longer, 21 days for worker bees to emerge, 24 days for drones to emerge. I don't see any of those emerging right now. We could look a little closer and see. But, uh, but for them to be capped over and not emerging yet, it's not that queen bee in there that's laying those drone eggs. They're already capped over. And um, I don't see any other drone uh, larvae developing. Hey, I got a question. Yeah. How do you know it wasn't that laying workers that, yeah. you know, the queen popped up, popped up before all those drone cells hatched? Good question. Now, now we're doing some thinking. So, okay. So if I had another colony that I made this nuke out of, which would make sense that if I had another colony that had drone, uh, we had uh, laying workers in it, so there was drone cells, I want to break that colony down, right? So I might have taken those frames with unfertilized eggs and used some of those frames in my nuke I made up, knowing that I'm going to correct that problem by putting in a, uh, a new queen that's going, to, uh, that's going to be a good one, right? And that, so that's a possibility too. So what I do know is though, is that queen wouldn't have had time to go on her mating flight, all right, come back and lay a bunch of unfertilized eggs and have those, uh, have those cells developed already to pupa stage and capped over. That's not enough time to do that. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm jumping the gun on this queen. She might still be perfectly good, okay? Because I'm not seeing a lot of open cells with drones in worker cells uh, at, at all different ages. Like you so, would expect it in the Right. Work. So if we do our B math, if I did this three weeks ago, was it about, Susie, that we made up this nukes when, when I was out here? If we did that, uh, mm. then she would probably, she looks big. You saw her. She looks, she looks big. Her abdomen looks like she's pregnant, right? So we know she's probably, and we saw a couple of eggs. I think she's just starting to lay eggs right now. And those drones in there came from one of the, one of the other, other uh, frames that I made the nuke up out of. Right? Yeah. I don't remember if we had a, uh, a colony in here that was had a bad queen and was laying drone, uh, had a drone layer in it. I don't know. It could have been. All right, so so doing our bee math prevented me from smashing a perfectly good queen, right? So there, we got to know the life cycles, the amount of time that it takes for the life cycle of the bees to develop uh, uh, before we uh, make a decision on what to do next. Okay, so we give her another week. Three weeks ago. So three weeks ago. So there's no way that queen could have emerged from her cell and and started laying drones and have those drones sealed over. So that's not her responsibility. We can't lay the problems with this colony at the feet of the queen. We'll give her another week and see what happens. All right. By now my smoker's gone out, so we got started again. I'll say you kind of have a hole in your bell. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, I got a bunch of holes in my bell. You can tell by all the duct tape. <laughs> so okay. sometimes what, it's a problem. I'm kind of ashamed of myself because I like make bee veils and then I just saw his and I was like, well, we, I'm maybe so you can lend me one, the camel one you got. I can model it while we're going in. Do you want me to go get it? Uh, I You're don't fine. know. How, how bad does this look on video? It's fine. <laughs> All right, we'll keep going. It's fine.